Hi everyone, and today we will be constructing the uh, parity generator. So, with the help of these two XOR gates, okay, we are going to generate uh, even parity generator. So, this is what the truth table is. So, once you have the truth table, you are able to construct the verification table. Okay, just replace once with five wood, then you will be having uh, the verification table. Okay, so that's fine. So let's get into. Okay, we will discuss the circuit using Tinker. Right? So here we have the empty Tinker circuit. So initially, I go for breadboard. Okay, so I use small because it is only one gate which we are going to use. So I take this and place it here and uh, I need power supply and multimeter in order to give the input and measure the uh, outputs. So I initially I am using this power supply. So here we have this and next we have the multimeter. Now. Okay. So we have multimeter. Okay. So I just pick this and place it here. And I will be using XOR gate. Okay, so so XOR gate. So just search here as XOR, XOR. So I will be using quad XOR gate. Right. Once you have this, these things, you have to ground the inputs. Sorry, yeah, ground the negative terminals and uh, ground the IC. So that's what you have to do. Okay, we we are set with this. Now, what this is the multimeter, this is the power source, this is the IC. Now we are going to con connect the negative parts. This is this negative, this ground, and this negative. Okay, so for connecting ground and negative, I will be using ne black color wire. Okay, so here we have this, and uh, this ground. Once I connect wire in this line. This supply is given to all these lines. You can observe the highlight, highlighting uh, circles there. Okay, once I connect a wire here, the power is given to all the terminals. Okay, now I am grounding. So negative is given to this all the terminals. Okay, so once you place the cursor on this uh, on the terminal, you are able to check whether it is a positive or negative. Okay, so once we have done with this, we have to give the power to the IC. This can be done with the help of power supply. I will be using I will be using red color now to show this a positive power supply. So I am using this okay. for better clarity I will be connecting this and I have plus here. So once I supply this connect this Y here I will be having positive voltage in all these so then I power this IC if I connect the wire here from here. Okay. Then for the input, I will be using, I need a positive power supply. So I just draw a wire from this and connect this to the positive terminal. Okay. So two things you have to do, one to power the IC, next is you have to give the high state, that is one state for the IC. Okay. So this is done. Okay. So these are the fundamental things you have to do uh, once if you have to design a circuit. You have to power the IC and ground the IC with the negative power, negative terminal of the multimeter and the uh, power supply. Okay. So let's check into the circuit. Okay. Here we have two X circuits. So A B, the output is connected. Output of A B is connected to the input of the another XOR gate and another input is given to the second XOR gate and you will be getting the Y, Y is nothing but the parity bit. Okay, it's a simple circuit. Uh, there are a lot of explanations you have to understand but this is the simplest circuit. Right, so let's do the circuit first. Okay, so I will be using this blue wire. So this is one this is connected to 0, this is connected to 1. So in order to make this connection, this connection I will be using different color. Okay. So I will be using pink. Okay. 
to output is connected to the another input okay so next again blue the another input which you have here is connected to the second XOR gate so the output of the first XOR gate is given one of the input to the second XOR gate and another input the third input is given in the second XOR gate so for clarity I will be using the same color here ok right so this is what the input to input and the output to is taken to the multimeter ok so I will be using brown here okay. so I just take a pos multimeter uh, positive term connect the terminal of the multimeter and I connect it to the output to ok output to so this is what the circuit is ok you can see this is given to the positive terminal of the power supply and this is connected to the negative terminal of the power supply this is 0 and this is 1 please remember please remember that the uh, negative is sorry positive is red color and the ground or 0 is black color ok so you have to remember these things ok I have 0 1 0 I have only 1 1 in the circuit so 0 1 0 you will be getting 1 in the parity bit ok so let us check ok so if I start simulating I will be getting 5 here which is the high state if I alter this ok if I make this as 1 if I make this as 1 you can observe 0 here ok so 1 1 0 what will be the output 1 1 0 will be having 0 if I make 1 1 we make one 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 so let's check what will happen right so one 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 okay so that's the case we start simulating i am getting one here so this is the case one 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 you can go through the all other cases if you like this video please do share with your friends this will help you help them a lot and happy learning